it's Marilla Minnelli and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to create a two-toned peekaboo look and I'm even going to show you how to custom color some tape and extensions and we're just going to add in a few for that added fullness to complete the look using all Kenra Color and Donna Bella hair extensions. But before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button and like this video and turn on all notifications so you don't miss a tutorial. Now let's go ahead and get started. It's been about two and a half months since my model last got her hair done. So all of her dummy permanent hair color has faded out along with her toner and she's definitely ready for a touch up. She was actually featured in my high contrast hair video and if you wanna check that out, you can look at the link down below. And I went ahead and sectioned out her entire perimeter so the exact same sectioning that we did before and just isolated it out now a couple of things that we want to improve on this time is to add a little bit more density so we're going to do that with some extensions but you can see here the entire bottom portion is basically just large triangles throughout the entire perimeter I'm going to go in with my go-to lightener, which is Kendra Professional Blue Powder Lightener at a 1 to 2 mixing ratio with 20 volume developer. And I always use a scale when I'm mixing. It just gives me lots of consistency and I know exactly the viscosity that I'm looking for and a 1 to 2 mixing ratio is it for me. I'm starting my application in the back and working from the bottom up. And I'm pretty much going to be doing a platinum card. And I'm gonna be doing this by flat wrapping each of my foils. So I'm actually not gonna be folding any of the foils up and just sandwiching them down. So I'm applying that blue powder lightener all along that first section hairline, making sure I got all of those little baby hairs. I'm then gonna use some nourishing mask on the ends where it doesn't need lightener. So that way it sticks to the foil nice in place. Plus it gets a nice little treatment at the same time. And then I'm gonna finish up with some more blue powder lightener right on top and then start layering my foils and working section by section. Now, if you're wondering why I'm using foil and doing a platinum card, it's because foil is gonna be a really great heat conductor. And since I am working with pretty dark hair, I know that doing this technique is gonna give me an even lift. So if you can imagine putting hair into a foil, typically it lifts nice and evenly. And that's what I'm trying to achieve by doing this application. Because as you can see, she has a very large root area to work with. And applying with the foil is gonna give me the most consistency in my lift. For the front section, I'm dividing it into four sections. So right down the middle and then using the arch of the eyebrow. And then I'm starting my application right on that hairline, right in front of the ear. So I'm gonna be applying this very similar to the back section, applying it in slices. But instead of me flat wrapping my foils, I'm actually gonna be folding my foils right on up. And the reason why I decided to do this is because she does have a little bit more fragile hair right here in the front and I wanted to have easy access to remove these foils early if needed. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue to put that blue powder lightener and then apply the nourishing mask right onto the ends. A little tip here is make sure that you get all of those little baby hairs, especially around the curvature of the ear. Sometimes it looks or appears that you've gotten all of the hair. So just make sure to really just double check and even move the ear if you need to, to really get in there. Once I have the sides done, I then work on the very top section. So again, I'm just gonna take those little slices still working in the same manner and taking really thin sections and being sure to fully saturate. You can see here I'm even flipping the foil up just to make sure I got that other side. This is especially important on that hairline because a lot of times little baby hairs go missing or unapplied so then you don't want to go back to the shampoo bowl and see that you have some random dark piece of hair just hanging out. So now that I have the entire foil put in, I'm now going to go in with Demi Permanent 
4A at a one to two mixing ratio with nine volume developer. And this is gonna go on all of the hair that's living outside of those foils. So everything that's in the interior. This is gonna give me lots of control for all of this warmth that's going on. And it even looks as though she had some previous color done probably about three weeks ago. So this is definitely gonna even out her canvas and not only control the warmth, but give me a nice dark hair color that's gonna closely match her natural hair color. I'm gonna continue to apply this Demi Permanent from roots to ends, making sure to thoroughly saturate. And you can even comb through the product to make sure you get a nice saturation. And then I'm gonna process this for about 20 minutes and then I'm gonna check her foils and then get her ready to do the next process, which is putting in Kenra Color Creatives. I decided to go in with equal parts of magenta to dusty rose. And a little tip here is when you get ready to mix up some direct dyes, have an extra foil or even a white paper towel. So that way when you mix up your product, you can go ahead and test out the color before applying to make sure that it's the shade that you desire. I decided this was the perfect time for me to prep her extensions just to be sure that her extension color was going to match the color on her head as well. I'm now coloring some 18 inch tape and extensions from Donabella Hair and I decided to use a combination of 1B60 and 60 so that way I could create an ombre effect as well as a full magenta piece. So one little tip is to make sure that you color both sides of the extension so that way you get the best saturation and even color distribution as possible. I'm also using funked up film to separate each of my tape-ins since one of them is an ombre shade and one of them is a full panel and this is just going to keep it nice and clean so the color doesn't get onto that tape area. I'm just gonna let those process and now I'm gonna apply my color onto my model. So her hair is 100% dry and I'm starting my application very similar to how I started, so from the bottom up. So I got that color onto that hairline and just to keep it a little extra clean, I am using one foil, just so that way the color doesn't get onto her towel or onto her cape. The cleaner you are, the more that your client will appreciate it. So this is just a little tip that I like to do in my salon. I make sure to thoroughly saturate, again, each side of this hair and really work my direct dye in. So once I get this product on, I'm gonna process this for just 20 minutes room temperature and then rinse her really well with cool water and a light conditioner on those mids and ends. So for her pops of extensions, I'm actually taking that 1B60 and then putting that onto the top surface here and then lifting it up and then using my quick pick, I'm just gonna loosen up those hairs and then I'm gonna layer right underneath that 60 hair extension piece that we colored right underneath. So I'm only gonna put in two extensions right here on the occipital and then for the sides, I'm putting in a total of two on each side. So she has a total of six sandwiches throughout her entire head. Adding in just a few tape-ins is gonna add that extra fullness that's needed for her really thin hairline. And it's really gonna make this color pop and it's gonna look really natural when we're done. And here's the final result of my two-toned peekaboo highlight using all Kenra color. So just to give you a little recap, we went in with blue powder lightener at a one to two mixing ratio with 20 volume developer. And I added in those highlights right around her hairline. And then as that was processing, I went in with Demi Permanent Hair Color 4A at a one to two mixing ratio with nine volume developer. After she was done processing, I shampooed her and 100% dried her hair to prepare her hair for Kenra Color Creative. And then I went in with magenta and dusty rose and applied it to her freshly lightened hair along with her 18 inch Donabella hair extensions and processed for 20 minutes. I really hoped you enjoyed this hair tutorial and if you did, give this video a thumbs up, make sure to subscribe and be sure to check out my other hair tutorials on this channel. You can also find me on Instagram, TikTok and YouTube all under Morella Manelli and I hope to see you guys next time.